back with another video. Now, this video, we're going to talk about how the law is related to God's words. Basically, his commandments. Now, the reason why or how it's related because the Bible says don't steal. Why? Because you could you stealing something from somebody that they that is theirs and they might want and they probably wants it and it's not yours. So if you get caught stealing, that's a consequence. If you get caught killing, that's a consequence. In some states, if you get caught cheating outside of marriage, it's a consequence. You know, it's like <clears throat> the law is almost kind of related to God's word. Like, just imagine if we didn't have a law and they didn't have rules. If you kill somebody, they just dead. If you steal, rob a bank, oh well, it's nothing we can do. Somebody break into your house, take your TV, call the cops, it's nothing we can do. It won't be no cops if it wasn't for God's rules. It won't be no going to college to be a judge to put bad guys in jail if it wasn't for God it wouldn't be none of this if God said well I'm gonna just create human beings and just let them live freely it won't be no it won't be none of my words if it's no it's none of my words it won't be no law so that means Everybody be freely to kill. Everybody be freely to live. It would be like the purge, but every single day. The the population of the world would probably be maybe a, a couple million instead of a trillion or a billion people on earth. It'd probably be a couple million. People would be dead left and right. It'd be dead bodies. In the, in the restaurants we eat. It'd be dead bodies in the clothing stores that we eat. It'd be dead bodies flutter the news. It'd be a lot of rapes, kidnaps. It won't, people won't have a car. Like, unless you was like, happen to be born rich down the line. You know, that probably wouldn't work. Cause you would be dead. Cause that's why you got famous people that have bodyguards all the time. Because it's fans out here that would kill them. If they didn't have bodyguards, if it wasn't no law, if they didn't have, it won't be no such thing as, as a bodyguard. It'd be every man for themselves. The bodyguards be trying to protect themselves. So it'd be every man for themselves. It would be tragic. Like, that's how the law is kind of related to God's words. You know, in some in some countries, if you even have sex or, ma or marry out of your, uh, well, if you just have sex, you know, you could be killed or hand cut off or whatever. Doom are like his commandments. It's getting put into lawful reality. And this law of these countries are put here to protect people. But people can live average lives, satisfying lives, or can go to work day, day to day to be able to go play, you know, able to have children and they can go like ride their bikes and stuff. Crime will be at the ultimate high. 
And people are taking advantage of the law because they have police officers. They got SWAT teams. They got armies. They got a fire station. They got all these things that's kind of protecting you from the reality of the world. But yet, you still have people that still break the law every single day. A lot of people get caught. A lot of people don't get caught. So... It just this shows how people just don't appreciate God as a whole or God himself. They just don't appreciate the cars they have, the life they have, the money they have, you know, the success they had. They just don't appreciate it at all. They just throw it down the drain. They take advantage of it. But then when it comes judgment day, when everybody has to be accounted account of their sins, you looking like, what did I do wrong? What did I do? You know what you did wrong. You know the bad stuff that you did and you didn't repent it of. You didn't even care about Jesus, what he thinks about you, how he feel about today. You know, you didn't care at all. And now people, you know, people want to start begging for their life when they about to die. When their life is finished. They start begging for somebody back after they cheated or they hurt, hurt their mom or dad or, or anybody. They start begging and begging and begging. It's just like, it's almost like human nature for, some, for a lot of people to do that. And they're going to be doing that when it's time to be judged for all the right, for all the wrong things that you did in your life. Because you didn't appreciate it. You don't appreciate the art. You don't appreciate the colors. You don't appreciate the trees. You just here. You have a purpose on it. Everybody on this planet, retarded or not, you have a purpose on this earth. And people's purpose, purpose is to spread God's word. And people want to sit there and say, oh, we're trying to change the world. You can't change the world. You can change certain aspects and pieces of the world, but you can't change the world as a, as a whole. You can't control everybody's minds. You can't tell people what to do. So to sit there and try to like make the world a better place, it's too late. You can't make the world a better place. And then if you, if you get spiritual and put the Bible with it, the world's not meant to be a better place. It's meant to be destroyed. Ever since God shot Lucifer down to, to earth, that was the end of destruction right there. Ever since Adam and Eve bit the apple, that was the end of destruction right there for the earth. It was going to be destroyed after that. And, then, and you don't know how long you let, how long you may live, and tomorrow is not promised at all. So to take advantage of your life and play with it, and play with other people's feelings, is ignorant and it's straight evil. Because people feel like they doing good, successful, they got nice cars, or you know they got a family. They feel like they gonna live until they eighty and ninety. That's not promised. And then what if you live to 60 or 70 years old? That's it? 60 and 70 years on this earth is better than eternity, everlasting life in heaven. There's no comparisons at all. Imagine all the time and hours that you have day in and day out, day in and day out. It still don't compare to affinity. But That's all I'm going to say. I'll see y'all guys next video.